In this tutorial video, you'll learn about the requirements for presenting your mail to the United States Postal Service and a brief explanation of the output reports created by Mail Preparer. With a little advanced preparation, acceptance of your mailing project will be a breeze. Begin by printing your placards, tags, and postal reports. Though Mail Preparer offers you several summary mailing reports, the following will be required for your mail preparation and acceptance. United States Postal Service Qualification Report SAC or Tray Tags Pallet Placards if preparing bundles on pallets or placing sacks or trays on pallets United States Postal Service Postage Statement If you are drop shipping your mailings, an 8125 clearance document a CAS 3553 report, while not required, must be presented if the postal clerk requests it. Now that you know what's required, let's take a detailed look at each report, starting with the United States Postal Service Qualification Report. This report summarizes the detail of the mailing, displaying pallets and container information on sacks or trays, packages, and copies. The United States Postal Service will compare the detail of this report against the physical mail to ensure accuracy of preparation. The physical mail must match this report exactly. The number of pallets and containers and the contents of those pallets and containers must correlate to the qualification report. If the mail does not match this report, it may be rejected. The mail sort listing report may be a better choice to use internally for production. The mail sort list matches the qualification report, identifying the same pallet, container, and package information. However, it will provide more detail on how to prepare the mail, like the type of tray to use and the preparation within the tray. Pallet placards and container labels for trays and sacks will match these details as well. Like the United States Postal Service Qualification Report, using container tags for sacks or trays and pallet placards are also a requirement. The container tags, also referred to as SAC or tray tags, indicate to the United States Postal Service where the contents of the container are ultimately destined. Additionally, the tags will display the pre-sorted contents of the mail inside the container and summary information including container number, packages, and copies. Pallet placards indicate where the contents of the pallet are ultimately destined. Additionally, the placards will display the pre-sorted contents of the mail on the pallet, including sacks or trays, and summary information, including pallet number, packages, and copies. Container tags and pallet placards correlate directly to the United States Postal Service Qualification Report. The postage statement is required for final postage payment. Use the postage statement as a guide for the money you or your client must deposit in your bulk mailing permit. This ensures funds are available for payment at time of mailing. Regardless of the class of mail, the postage statement displays the mail preparer, the permit holder, and the mail owner. Additionally, the number of pieces and the total postage due is displayed on page 1. The breakdown of how the mail qualifies at each level is found on subsequent pages. The 8125 Clearance Document Report is required if you are drop shipping your mail directly into an NDC, SCF, or DDU. This report displays the contents of the mailing, including weight, copies, and the address of the accepting facility. The CAS, or 3553 report, details the coding statistics from the CAS address hygiene process. It details the percentages of carrier route, delivery point, and zip codes within your mail file. This is not a required report, but if the postal clerk asks you for it, you must present it. You will want to review this summary to ensure your percentages are 95% or above. Now that you have all of your reports, trays, sacks, and pallets tagged, it's time to visit the United States Postal Service Business Mailing Entry Unit, or BMEU. This should be the same location you chose as an entry point in Mail Preparer. The entire mailing, including pieces that may be drop shipped, are presented to the BMEU for acceptance. A mail clerk will inspect your mailing and output reports for accuracy and accept or decline your mail. It pays to be diligent while inputting the parameters of the mailing to ensure a smooth acceptance process, particularly piece dimensions. All documentation will have to be submitted electronically through the Postal One eDoc Gateway for automation rates come January 2014. Tech Mailing can help you get started with full service today. In addition to managing the uniqueness of full service IM barcodes, we also help with TIM testing certification. This applies for pay-as-you-go users as well. With every change the Postal Service implements, Mail Preparer will be updated to the current standard. One of the many benefits of using a hosted solution.